Last August, members of Wimbledon Labour Party met here to discuss which definition of anti-Semitism they thought the National Party should adopt. But during the debate, comments were made which prompted a number of complaints. They came during an intervention made by Sir Duncan Michael, a Labour member for many years who was knighted for services to engineering in 2001. Sky News has obtained an audio recording of his comments. This storm started straight after we elected Jeremy, directly at him, including, very undemocratically, from within our party. And the reason Corbyn is kindly to Palestine and others. Attacking Corbyn failed to pass three democratic texts, and so the Jewish community plans to attack our party. We are not here to blame the Jewish people for anything. I'm not blaming Jewish people. If you can't take what I'm saying, you shouldn't be here. The comments were challenged at the meeting by one of the speakers on the panel, Glyn Secker, a member of the pro Corbyn group Jewish Voice for Labour. I don't believe you're anti-Semitic, I think you're ill-informed and I would want to have a discussion with you so you can uh, put you right. If, if you, no, you won't put me right. If you insist <laughs> that uh, all Jews in the country are responsible for attacking Corbyn, then I would say yes, you're anti-Semitic. Several complaints were submitted to Labour after the meeting, but in October, complainants received this email from the regional office saying, After taking this case through our anti-Semitism process, the Labour Party does not believe this is an incident of anti-Semitism and will not be taken further. The Jewish Labour movement say that decision is not acceptable. Talking about an undemocratic elite, talking about the Jews acting as a whole community to attack the Labour Party, that really plays into some of the oldest anti-Semitic tropes about Jews being conspiratorial and acting in secrecy as some sort of cult to try and influence politics. Earlier this week, after a request from the Parliamentary Labour Party, General Secretary Jenny Formby set out details of how anti-Semitism claims have been handled since last April. As a result of the 673 complaints that were received in relation to Labour members, 96 people were suspended and 12 were expelled from the party. But it was also revealed that in 220 cases, there was judged to be not enough evidence to proceed with an investigation. One of the Labour MPs who's been pressuring the party to act more decisively says more action must follow. We will be pursuing the party on a whole range of individual cases and this will be one of them. And what is interesting is that when an individual case is raised with the Labour Party, they seem to miraculously change their mind uh, in the face of uh, a, public, um, uh, a public comment on the case. Labour said they would not comment on individual cases, but in a statement a spokesman said, the Labour Party takes all complaints of anti-Semitism extremely seriously and we are committed to challenging and campaigning against it in all its forms. All complaints about anti-Semitism are fully investigated in line with our rules and procedures and any appropriate disciplinary action is taken. However, a Labour source has suggested a national investigation is ongoing into the comments and claimed the message sent to complainants telling them no further action was being taken may have been sent in error. Sir Duncan was approached for comment, but did not respond. Tom Rayner, Sky News, Westminster.